Hey, noob here. Today we're going over the quickest way to get out of jail in 318 and get you back to your nefarious ways in no time. Don't forget to come check me out on Twitch where I do speed runs of this all the time because it seems jail is my home away from home. Okay, so first thing you need to do after you spawn in your new prison trip courtesy of Hurston and his oddly named lineage, is follow the path I'm heading now, all the way to these shutters in the back room. So long as peeping like this didn't get you in here in the first place, remember these numbers, you'll need them later. Alright, you've got your numbers, that's great, remember them in whatever way you need to, I write them down because I have a smooth brain. What you're looking for, after you get your numbers, is this fan over here. You'll see it's spinning with a gap. You want to jump over the railing, head over to the pad there, and punch in the numbers that you wrote down. You have to be relatively quick about this. The numbers do change somewhat often, but providing you don't take too long, you should be fine. After you're done there, you want to jump through that fan, make your way to the end of the tunnel. You can walk around or jump over like I do here. Jumping over is fine. And um, yeah, just got to adjust to the gravity, mostly and then start making your way through the cave. The prison escape is largely a parkour challenge. Like this one here, you just gotta get that little ledge underneath you and drop down and land on it. You still might take a little bit of damage, but as long as you don't break your leg or get an injury, you should be fine. And then making your way through this tight cluster of rocks, you'll end up at a fork. You wanna take a right, jump over this little gap here, and make your way across so you can then mantle over this one. This is the way to go. Continue to make your way here all the way to the back and to the right. You'll jump up this ledge and continue forward. Again, it's just tight and clustered. Keep your light on and you'll make it to the next part. You want to walk around to be orientated this way and you want to jump pretty much over the first rock and then over this one, take another right and go through that small hole again. If you need to slow down the video and go back, you can move through to the back of that room, turn right again, and continue making your way up. In this room, you have to mantle up onto a bit of rock here. As you can see, a ledge, jump across to the other ledge, 180, and then to the ledge on the right-hand side of the wall. And then you continue following all these ledges all the way up. You'll see here, you turn sharply left and run along, and then you'll get to your first fork in the road. You want to take a right here and follow the tunnel. Expect to do a bit of climbing, but mantling these is pretty easy. I just spam spacebar. You should be able to get up pretty easy. When you get to the top, don't get too excited when you see this straight run because it ends in a sudden drop. You're gonna make your way around this, line yourself up and jump to the ledge below. I use the wall to stop me and then I turn around and go the other way. This is probably the trickiest part of the entire jump. Well, it is for me anyway. I drop down here. I line myself up at the wall here and jump into it so I don't miss this ledge. Just as you see there, turn around, jump on the other side of the chasm. For this, the pathway is pretty clear, but you make your way up and around this little parkour challenge here. And again, you'll find yourself mantling up to the right and get on top of the area. Okay, well done, you've made it this far. This is around about halfway when you see this big chunk of metal here that you have to jump onto. Uh, you jump from this across to the opposite side as you'll see here. It's a pretty easy jump uh, You want to get up here turn around and line up the other jump which again It's a pretty easy jump Just remember to sprint and then you want to look up and to the left and climb up to the top here Once you're up the top you need to turn around and make this pretty decent sized jump across to that metal platform just there and then Yet again, continue to climb. Up ahead, you have a path to the right and a path to the left. The path to the right is the safe path. The one to the left is the quick one. We're gonna take the quick one today. It's a little tricky, but you'll get it. 
only takes a few tries. What you'll need to do is eventually jump up this rock here, move over and to the left you'll see this bit of metal on the ground, stand on the very tip of it, look at the beam, jump crouch, move along, and then jump up and through this gap, and you're up. That's the quickest way through this section. Shortly after, you need to just run around this, jump over to this platform here, take a right, jump over to this platform here, and you are so close to being done. All right, just fall down this little ledge, and you're almost free. Now what I'm seeing now, and what you're seeing, might be a little different, because usually there's lasers and mines all through this area. But we're going to back it up in a second and show you where they are and what you need to do to get around. So the first mine, as you'll see, is directly over this box. You need to mantle the box and push S on your keyboard immediately so you don't run into the mine. Move and lay down and then crawl underneath this one and to the left of that little hump in the middle, we're going to call it a hump, and go around that because there's a second laser there. After that, you should be clear to stand up and jump onto this box. Once you do that, you're nearly there, you just got to jump over these two lasers. I almost failed it there, but we made it. To the numbers! The numbers, please. What do they mean? But for real, don't forget these numbers. Write them both down. You may need one or the other. It just depends on whether or not your ride is in the dock or not. Right, so to find said dock, and said rover, you need to crouch under this pole and follow this path all the way along until you find the crawl space. And behold, the crawl space. You need to go through here, look up, jump up onto this, go through the vent, and follow this platform around clockwise. Alright, so you're gonna have to excuse my following gif. Uh, these stairs here, there'll be a hole in the middle, don't fall down that. Are you starting your journey out of prison all over again? Go up the second flight and all the way to the end, up this set, and the following set has another hole, but if you fall through this you'll just land on the platform, so if you're gonna fail one, make it that one. Once you get up this flight of stairs, you need to turn around, climb these boxes, and jump onto the roof. From there, you can turn left, go straight up onto this pipe, and believe it or not, but you're pretty much home free from here. Okay, so the success of your great escape hinges on two things from this point onwards. Whether or not the rovers are in their docks, you only need one, so here's for hoping. And the second part, is how well your friend can dodge missiles. So your friend, on approach, will have to find a spot in a canyon where they can park the ship that the missiles are gonna hit, or you're gonna be driving the rover for a very long time. But in saying that, all you need to do is get to them, get in the ship, and get out of here. All right, best of luck, citizens. Noob, out. Pick up a noob because, yeah, yeah. He can jump in my ship and regain his oxygen anyway. Alright, cool. I'll get oxygen back from this anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, you made it all the way through to the end. Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you'd like any other Star Citizen tutorials and or content, make your request below in the comment section and uh, tell me what your record time for breaking out of prison is. I'd love to hear it. Also, if you don't have Star Citizen, use my promo code. I'll pop a link in the description below. It'll give you a little head start. And it'll help me out a little bit. So that's a win-win. All right, everybody, good luck out there. Move out.